Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 1000. Now we've already covered number bonds to 1000. For addition we're now going to work through subtraction. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 1000 minus something equals 462. 1000 minus something equals 462. So what number do we have to take away from 1000 for it to equal 462? Now, as we've done before, we can actually rewrite this question to say 1000 equals 462 plus something. Now, just as we did for number bonds to 500, we're going to work through this starting with the units. So 462, it's got two units. We have to make the two in the units equal to zero. How do we do that? Simple, we add eight. Two and eight is 10. Okay, so that becomes zero. The six becomes seven because we've carried one over and it remains, the hundreds remains 4. So we now have 470. The units is now 0. What about the tens? Well, the tens is 7. So what number added to 7 is going to give us 10? Again, from our number bonds, we know that it's 3. Because it's tens, we have to add a 0. So let's add this together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry one over, 4 plus 1 is 5. So we've achieved our objective of getting the, both the units and the tens equal to 0. Our next task is to get the hundreds to equal 0. So what number added to 5 is going to give us 0? That's simple. It is 5. 500. Now let's add the numbers together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 5 is... Well, the answer is 10. And we've, re we've achieved our aim of getting the number up to 1,000. We're doing number bonds to 1,000. So what numbers did we add to get to 1,000? We've got 8. We've also got 30. And we've also got... 500. So we've got 538. That is the answer. 538. So 1000 minus 538 equals 462. Now, as we mentioned before, with a bit of practice, you won't need to do any of the workings out over here. Okay? You will simply work this out in your head. To do that, it requires practice. And we will practice with one more. Okay, this time we've got 1000 minus something equals 825. Now, what's the answer here? 1000 minus something equals 825. Now, if we look at number 825, what number do we need to add for the units? Well, we need to add 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So let's add this together. We get 830. Now let's look at the tens. We've got three tens. So what number added to 3 is going to give us 10? The answer is 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. It's tens, so we have the number 70. Okay, now let's... Add them together. We've got 0. 3 plus 7 is 10. Carrying 1 over 8 plus 1 is 9. So we're up to 900. We've got both the units and the tens equal to 0. So now we're going to concentrate on the hundreds. We've got 9 hundreds. We add 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, we're now going to add these two together. We've got 0, 0, and 9 plus 1 is 10. So we've got to our objective of, we've got to our target that we needed, which was to get to 1,000. So what numbers have we used? 
we have added 5, we have added 70, and we have added 100. We have added 175. That is the answer, 175. 1000 minus 175 equals 825. So follow through these principles, do the workings out, but after a period of time, you should be able to do this in your head. So that is subtraction of number bonds to 1,000.